Are you struggling to hit open nets? Do your shots look more like this than this? Well, good, then this video is for you. In this video, we're talking about shooting training in Rocket League Sideswipe. Specifically, I'm going to show you five different shots or training routines that you can practice in free play that will take your shooting game to the next level. So if you're struggling with shooting, this is the video for you. Okay, so before we get started, I just want to say that I recommend doing this training in the 2v2 arena called SC Field. And the reason is that after Platinum rank, all of your 1v1 matches will be in this arena. You'll no longer be playing in short stack. And I also recommend that you turn Unlimited Boost off for this training, because it helps you work on your boost management. This first one is one that I haven't seen done before in game, so I'm not sure if it's a new mechanic or something, but I call it the Wave Dash Scoop. To do it, you first boost towards the ball, then when you're about this distance away, jump, aim diagonal down, and jump again towards the ground. Your car should land just in front of the ball, with the nose of your car scooping the ball up into the air. Or a really big pop like this that goes into your opponent's goal. This is the first one on my list because of how useful it is in free play to set up awkward situations for yourself. It's basically the sideswipe equivalent of the free play training controls that we have in regular Rocket League, which allow you to pass the ball to yourself to practice different plays like redirects and saves. However, it's also a super useful mechanic on its own to use in matches. Like for example, if your opponent fakes the kickoff, you can wave dash scoop it into his goal, or use it as part of a multi-touch play. So I highly recommend practicing this a lot in free play, and we're going to use it a lot in this video. The snapshot is one of my personal favourites, and it will make you an absolute god at getting quick shots off when you're under pressure. It's actually really similar to the wall ball training method used in Rocket League. To do the snapshot in Sideswipe, you start off by getting the ball bouncing, which you can do with the wave dash scoop. Then drive up to the ball, and just before the ball hits the ground, jump, aim, and shoot. You want to do this as quickly as possible, just at the last moment. Often you'll miss the first shot, but then just keep repeating it until you get a goal. The point here is just to improve your reaction time. You want to get it so that you can take a shot in as little time as possible. Most of the time I use this to practice purple shots, because purple shots allow you to get a lot of height on the ball, but also stay grounded so you can easily follow up with another hit. And yeah, this is such a great training method, I highly recommend it to everyone, no matter what your rank. Next up is the fadeaway jump shot, which I've named after the basketball shot when you're moving away from the net when shooting. How often does this situation happen in Sideswipe? You're on your opponent's side of the field with the ball bouncing up, and you want to get from here to here and put the ball in there. But instead of doing that, you end up doing this. Well, that's exactly what we're practicing with this one. All you need to do is get the ball bouncing again, then jump from one side of the ball and shoot it into the same side. So if you're coming from the left, you want to shoot left. And if you're coming right, shoot right. So you're jumping, turning around, and then shooting back the way you came. You can do this with a red shot, or a no flip shot, or my personal favourite, a purple shot. The next one is a really frustrating situation where the ball is bouncing underneath the goal, and you want to get it up and into the goal. This comes up constantly in game, and most often I see players doing this. Smashing the ball off the wall and setting up a counter-attack for their opponent. So there are a few ways I like to practice this situation. The first is to use our wave dash scoop to pop the ball up and then follow up with a shot. Another one is to go for a purple shot, leaning back and getting under the ball to pop it up and into the goal. I love this one. And the last one is a gold shot, which you can do by basically getting under the ball and doing a wave dash scoop. 
If you time it right, you'll get a gold shot and you'll either pop it up really high, maybe hitting the ceiling, or you'll put it straight into the goal. This one's really difficult to get right, but if you do get it right, it's pretty awesome. And the last one is probably the most difficult one to master, the back wall to ceiling pinch. What you have to do for this one is take the ball up your own back wall, air dribble it up to the ceiling, and then ceiling pinch it into your opponent's goal. The timing and positioning on this one is quite difficult, I often mess it up. And it's really risky to do in matches because if you do mess it up, it's almost impossible to recover and you'll probably get scored on. So I'd really recommend using this in 2v2s and hoops where your teammate can cover for you. And then once you practice it enough, you can start doing it in 1v1s. So those are the 5 shots or situations I want to show you guys in this video. But I'm really curious what training routines you guys use in Sideswipe. Do you have some effective ones of your own? Let me know down in the comments. And just before I go, I just want to let you guys know that I've just launched my second channel where I'll be posting much more casual gameplay content. I've already posted my first video, which is a Sideswipe 2v2s and Hoops gameplay video with live commentary. And I'll be posting more content on there really soon, so sub if you want more mogs, but casual mogs. Also, if you want to hang out with me and other mogs viewers, come join my Discord server. The link's on screen and in the video description. And like the video if you liked it, dislike it if not, subscribe for more videos like this as well as a whole bunch of other Rocket League and Rocket League Sideswipe content. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Okay, let's do a fast kickoff, hold boost and just tap, jump. And you usually get there first every time. And then just stay with this, wait for, okay, my teammate came, it's all right. I'll just go back here. Okay, I'll just go for this. Yeah, unfortunately miss. Teammate's got it, it's alright. I'll leave that for him. And wait for the pop. Okay, I'll stay with this now. Yeah, nice. Teammate can have that. I'll stay back here. Uh, I'm lucky. Teammate might want that. That's okay. It's usually me that's garbage, so... Mm. I was pancake on the first one. Okay, he's got a kind of weird pancake-y kickoff as well. Got a 50. Let my teammate come. I'll go back. Okay, and I should be able to take that up if I'm not terrible, which I am. Got a purple shot, which is nice. Teammate wants, maybe. I'm just going to stay with this. Okay, I'm just going to get out of the way here. Teammate, you want? Get out of the way. There you go. That's always a good option to rotate back. Just kind of jump over the play. I'll 50 this, and then I should be able to follow it. Oh, did I? No, I'm lucky. Teammate can go for that. Teammate, go, go, go. Oh, okay, he's missed. Mogs has got the shot off. I'm just going to be patient, just not charge in. It's always super tempting to charge in, like I just did. What can I say? It's tempting, it's very tempting. Oh, I got a nice flick. 